Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Fifth Wave. So, The Fifth Wave stars Chloe Grace Moretz, Nick Robinson, Lee Schreiber, and this film is about when people are getting sick and a lot of people are dying. So, Chloe Grace Moretz and whoever else has survived, they basically have to prepare for whenever the fifth wave happens. Chloe Grace Moretz, she gets separated from her brother. She has to go out and go rescue him. And of course, in order to save her brother, she gets the help of this dude that she instantly falls in love with. Yeah. I wasn't looking forward to the fifth wave. It. I love Chlorgus Moretz. I love Lee Schreiber. Lee Schreiber, I haven't seen him in a while. And then Nick Robinson, you know, who was in Jurassic World, and Melissa and Joey, a show I really enjoyed personally. But this film just didn't look very interesting. And, you know, after seeing the fifth wave, I'll say this. I don't think it's the worst young adult movie it's not bad in my opinion it does have stupid things in there but i don't think it's a bad movie but it's not good either it's more lines of a mediocre young adult movie so yeah it could have been worse but it could have been better so of course one of my positives i have to say about the fifth wave is that chloe grace moretz She's really good in the film. You know, she can take a bad script or a mediocre script. I would say the script in this one is mediocre. And, you know, she can do a good job, honestly, with her role. She does a really good job in this film. She proves that she can definitely carry a movie, even if it's not a good movie. And honestly, I say acting-wise, um, along with Lee Schreiber and Nick Robinson, she did a really good job. And speaking of Lee Schreiber and Nick Robinson, you know, Lee Schreiber, he's really good here in this film. It's nice to see him. And Nick Robinson, who I did think did a really good job in Jurassic World and Melissa and Joey and The Kings of Summer, I thought he did a really good job in this film as well. And I really liked all of his military scenes. This is not an action-packed movie by any means, but there were some action scenes that were filmed well. They were very passable action scenes that I enjoyed watching. I will say, cinematography for the film, it's very well shot. I really liked how the film looked. It had very good lighting, serviceable to very good lighting. And the last thing I will say about The Fifth Wave is that it does have good direction. It's a very well-directed movie. I didn't really have any problems in terms of how it was directed you know direction was honestly pretty good but my problems with the fifth wave is that it does have a very convoluted storyline you know we're following the storyline with all of these alien attacks and then the reasoning behind these alien attacks as the movie gets resolved honestly was very lame it is so so dumb and I'm just watching this movie going man writers is that really the best you could come up with? You know, like I said, I don't hate this movie, but I'm not gonna deny there were some seriously stupid things about this movie, and I really mean like some seriously stupid things. Even to a point where I actually had to laugh a few times. Oh yeah, and there's the whole reasoning for why Chloe got separated from her brother. Not gonna really spoil how they get separated, but how they get separated was honestly so stupid. When you actually see how she gets separated from her brother, the whole reason she has to go all the way to go rescue him, yeah, that was honestly really dumb. The visual effects in this film, very, very cringeworthy. The plane crash scene in this film, wow, it looked pretty damn bad. It really did not look that good. And there's other stuff that happens visually in the film that really were not impressive. Michael Monroe from The Guest and It Follows is in this film. And unfortunately, knowing the talent that she is, her performance isn't exactly all that great. And most of the acting really ranges from fine to bad. There's some bad acting and there's some okay acting. Really, Chloe, Leave, and Nick are the only good actors in my opinion. Oh, and speaking of bad acting, I forgot the actor's name, but I want to refer to this character as the chipmunk dude. And honestly, he was so wooden. He's so bland. He's so uninteresting. I mean, come on. Have some kind of 
personality to you. This guy is just so lifeless, and I can't believe Casey. I think that's Chloe Grace Moretz's character's name. It's Casey. I couldn't believe Casey actually fell in love with him. Like immediately, as soon as she sees him, she instantly has feelings for him and that's where i get to honestly the worst thing about the fifth wave now every single flaw i'm mentioning in this film i wasn't pissed during the stupid moment but when it came to the shoehorn love plot between chloe grace moretz and the chipmunk dude oh man i just couldn't stand watching it you talk about shoehorned and a very poorly developed romantic plot and it's so unnecessary why couldn't it just be left alone because honestly there was no point she was honestly wasting her time with the dude when she could have just left a long time ago and there are times where she even tells him that she needs to go now to rescue the brother but then the chipmunk dude always finds a way to keep her Staying with him longer because oh my gosh he has feelings for her and oh man everything else about the film I can tolerate but that romance plot oh my god yeah that was not fun to watch oh yeah and if you haven't figured it out towards the end of the movie you even get a love triangle oh that's fucking great the climax of the film is honestly rushed and the film as you can expect it's predictable as hell and overall, you guys, I just thought the fifth wave was okay. It's okay, it's mediocre, it's bland, it's forgettable. Like I said, I don't think it's the worst young adult movie I've ever seen, but it's not exactly the greatest. I didn't hate it. I hated the love plot that was in this film, but the movie as a whole, I didn't really hate. I was just whatever towards it. I'm going to give the fifth wave two out of four stars. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about the fifth wave. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!